right, the clouds are starting to roll back in. We're seeing more wind out there this evening. We're going to be working on some scattered showers and thunderstorms overnight into your Tuesday. I know we got hit pretty good with some thunderstorms late last night and lots of folks seeing some beautiful rainbows across Idaho Falls and Ammon and much of the surrounding region. Right now in Idaho Falls, we got the clouds starting to roll back in. It's still saying it's sunny at the airport, 76 degrees. Winds out of the southwest at 19 miles an hour. Pocatello Farm Bureau Skycam 76, but also dealing with those gusty winds out of the southwest. Moving over into the higher elevations like Salmon, we've had some thunderstorms around Lemhi County today. Currently mainly cloudy, 73 degrees and no wind at the airport there. But going over into east of the Tetons, Jackson 63, mostly cloudy, calm conditions, but some thunderstorms trying to get over the mountains, especially as you're going into Grand Teton and Yellowstone National Park. So we can see that movement of the moisture right now in First Alert Viper radar as I take you closer in here. Also quite a bit of wet weather just starting to get back into central Idaho. We've had some strong thunderstorms north of Boise, uh, especially getting up towards places like Ontario and Weezer. That stuff is going to be heading in our direction for this evening, getting into central Idaho with some more moisture there across the wilderness areas in just a little bit. But we've had a couple thunderstorms right now popping in here over Ashton and Island Park, and we've had some strong thunderstorms there just getting over St. Anthony with frequent lightning strikes, and then over into the last chance or last chance there we've been getting some of those strong thunderstorms north of the Ashton Hill. We have more thunderstorms in the outlook tonight as an area of low pressure is swinging across eastern Washington and north Idaho for tonight and tomorrow. There's a dip in the jet stream there. That's what we're going to deal with here for tomorrow. We still got high pressure to the southeast and high pressure out to the west. And what's going to happen here as we move into your Tuesday, that low is going to be right on top of us and we're going to get the counterclockwise circulation of the moisture, but then we start pulling in high pressure as that low departs for the rest of the work week. As that high works in, we'll have more wind out there and we are going to expect to pull in some warmer conditions with some drier weather Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So tonight on the Viper cast, getting close to midnight, we got some late night thunderstorm possibilities, especially as you go southeast of Pocatello in the Snake River Plain. We could have some scattered thunderstorms and more of the thunder showers in places like Island Park and West Yellowstone and also across Salmon and Chouse. Tomorrow morning, there's going to be a deep Decent chance of wet weather in extreme southeastern Idaho. And look at the wraparound moisture in here for tomorrow afternoon. Quite a bit of wet weather enveloping the region as we head through tomorrow afternoon, especially near the Wyoming state line. Then we move into Wednesday. We're going to see a drier push of weather coming on through along with those gusty winds. There's still going to be a few thunderstorms in here for Wednesday, mostly into the mountains. Not a lot of activity in the Snake River Plain except for some wind and temperatures beginning to warm. Upper 60s for Montpelier, lower 70s in Soda Springs, and the mid 70s for Malad and Preston tomorrow. We should get to the lower 70s for Rexburg and St. Anthony, 70 in Swan Valley, and 62 in Jackson with lows back to the 40s tonight. Jackson, you're eight a forecast windy warmer weather as we make our way through the rest of this week here highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s by Friday and Saturday moving over to Rexburg highs around 79 for Wednesday and we're going to expect to see those temperatures back into the 80s by this Friday and Saturday with mostly sunny skies central Idaho 77 for chalice we got 79 for salmon and 72 in Stanley with some scattered thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow temperatures in salmon are expected to warm all the way back into the upper 80s by this week Weekend, as we're pulling in some hot, dry weather, especially starting on Thursday, we're going to shake off that thunderstorm threat and lows are going to start to warm up as well. Into the Snake River Plain we go with 74 for Rigby, 77 in Blackfoot and 79 for Pocatello with lows tonight back to the 50s. Eight day forecast in Blackfoot, low to mid 80s for Thursday and Friday with some gusty winds out there. Temperatures climbing as we head into Saturday and we're going to be holding on to some warmer weather also in there for next week. Moving over to Pocatello, temperatures also expected to climb. We're hitting 85 for Wednesday in the Gate City. Then we're into the upper 80s, lower 90s for Friday and Saturday. A few clouds here and there, but it's generally a drier pattern to get us through the later part of August here. Idaho Falls, 82 for Wednesday and 81 for Thursday. As we get into the middle of August, we're picking up on highs into the mid to upper 80s with a lot of sunshine and a lot of wind. Also note, the overnight low is starting to come back up as well. Todd, we're going to send it over to you. All right, thanks a lot, Michael. Coming up, the Sportsline High School football